Hi, I'm Dan Winter, FractalField.com. I'm here with Jason Matozo, FractalWater.com, uh, dedicated to the Tesla Science Institute in New Jersey, uh, Sam Mason, just to introduce and say how much we support what you're doing there, the connection with science and art, and uh, particularly with uh, Jason already having done so much for the Tesla Research Group, just to say how much we support and wish to collaborate, particularly to bring this work about implosion science and Tesla research to young people. And this will be just a little review of some of that work we presented at the Vacuum Energy Conference there in Amsterdam. And uh, we were talking about the universal physics of the vacuum field as a superfluid. And there's just a few key important points that really link the Tesla work to the artwork to fractality and implosion. And as we get that, we see how empowering it is to take a new look at Nikola Tesla. So we talk about the pure principles of the vacuum plenum and that basically rotation of charge creates both mass and time and that rotation in a vortex like a superfluid when it implodes creates <coughs> creates the origin of neg entropy and that's a zero point solution it's literally how to attract vacuum energy <coughs> and particularly for this conversation we want to show how that fractality access to vacuum or zero point energy is also fractality perfected, recursion perfected, embedding perfected, nesting perfected, and literally phase conjugation, the path to zero point implosion. So this is an introduction to the science of sacred space, which we have been teaching for years. And the, just to finish this little intro, this little thumbnail here, that it, when we look at Tesla's dream of creating power at a distance, he was he was so close, and yet the key is now, in, in those days it was called scalar energy, the correct term is longitudinal interferometry, and this creates a longitudinal node among waves that's also key to the perfect flame and literally the nature, nature of consciousness. So if we could teach our young people the difference between a transverse wave and a longitudinal wave, compressional wave, which is an electromagnetic wave but travels compressionally like a sound wave, that when those waves converge, that centripetal compressional node is arranged in a fractal array, and if we see what that fractal array looks like, it's like pine cones kisses, kissing noses as we tell the story. So, for example, if we look at that vortex geometry of hydrogen itself, which we proved is fractal, what's converging down that array is the compression, the transverse wave at the left, and the compression or longitudinal wave at the right. And the story to this little Mori in terms of the dream of having energy without wires is that now we know how to optimize that perfected distribution of charge, which is compressional nodal longitudinal array, which is fractal, and we need to have the right frequency signature and the right geometry of those nodes in order to understand power at a distance. That power distribution without wires was accomplished by the pyramid builders, but was not accomplished by Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla had the idea right, he called it scalar, we call it longitudinal, but he didn't have the frequency signature and he didn't have the geometry of the nodes correct. As Kathy showed at those longitudinal fractal nodes, you actually get reduction of nuclear critical mass. So we made a, a summary of these things, which is basically how to improve and climax the work of Nikola Tesla by understanding modern physics now, it's called phase conjugate, non-destructive charge compression. And this all then really boils down to understanding how that fractality of these longitudinal waves is actually key to gravity waves. And this is the future to understanding the relationship of electromagnetism to gravity and the key is fractality. And Tesla is, <coughs> Tesla is the perfect way to introduce this science to our young people. So we are happy to work with your group and we look forward to more collaboration. Thank you very much.